What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about some data mined info that came out yesterday about Battlefield 2042. And this data mined info was talking about amphibious vehicles and boats. Now keep in mind, this is data mined info. It could or could not come true. But a lot of this info has been pretty solid. Uh, like I said, this stuff could not end up in the game or it could be changed a bit before it does. But I think it's interesting that they're adding amphibious vehicles uh, and boats. Of course, we've seen personal watercraft, your rib boats, that kind of thing. Those will still be in the game. But we have never really had the option to have amphibious boats before where they can go from the sea or the water to the land and vice versa. So they're going to be able to go on the water, drive up onto the land, drive back out into the water. So it's going to add a different layer to combat when it comes to vehicles within Battlefield 2042. We also got some of the different loadout options that can be uh, or that will be available within these amphibious vehicles or the things that were data mined anyway. On the driver side of things, you'll have detection jammers, smoke discharges, thermal smokes, and system repairs. On the gunner side, you're going to have a 40 millimeter grenade, guided missiles, and mini guns. And of course, there will be additional weapons like your left port and your right port guns. So it does sound like these amphibious vehicles will be able to carry probably up to four people, maybe more. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's going to be so small that only like just a one or two people can be inside of this amphibious uh, hovercraft style boat. I do think this is kind of interesting, like I said, because it will add that layer of extra uh, ways to get around the map. Uh, in the past, you know, if you were in a boat, you kind of had to stay in the water, jump out and swim up if you want to go somewhere or just fight from the sea to the land, you know, and just kind of try to take out people at a flag, you know, from a distance. Now you'll just be able to go to wherever you want to go and ride right up onto the land, which is uh, definitely a different concept than we've seen in Battlefield before. And of course, this is going to add, like I said, a new layer to it. So now you won't only have to compete with tanks and, and you know, hovercrafts coming from sea to land and planes. Uh, and of course, also infantry. It's going to make some fights very chaotic. And that's what a lot of people love about Battlefield is all that chaos, everything going on. And plus, we're going to have 128 players on new gen consoles and PC. And this is going to be, I think, uh, a wild ride when we're playing, you know, Battlefield 2042 and all this stuff's going on. But I really like the idea of adding these amphibious, uh, you know, hovercraft style boats into the game, along with the things we've seen in the past, you know, your rib boats and your, you know, jet ski style personal watercrafts. Uh, those will still be available, those speed style things. But now, not only will tanks have to contend with players on the ground shooting rockets at them, they will also have to contend with these hovercrafts coming you know, out of the water onto the land and be able to fight the tanks as well. So I think this could be a lot of fun, in my opinion. I think there's a lot of cool things they're adding into the game that's making it sound more and more enjoyable. And I know some people out there don't love vehicles in Battlefield. I've never been a fan of when it's too much. You know, you feel like it's you're always getting killed by a tank or something, and you really can't survive on the ground. So I'm hoping they're going to balance this out well. So, you know, if you're just an infantry player, you still can have a lot of fun playing. And if you're a vehicle fan, you will also have a lot of fun playing as well. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these new amphibious vehicles being added into Battlefield 2042. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'll catch you next time. Peace.